You look so beautiful and peaceful. You almost look dead. That's good because there's something I want to say that's always been very difficult for me to say. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. I've never been relaxed enough to say that in front of anybody. You make me feel so confident. I know we've only known each other for four weeks and three days, but it seems like we've known each other for nine weeks and five days. The first day seemed like a week, and the second day seemed like five days, and the third day seemed like a week again, and the fourth day seemed like eight days, but the fifth day, you went to see your mother and it seemed just like a day. But then you came back and on the sixth day in the evening, we saw each other and that seemed like it was two days. So in the evening, it seemed like two days spilling into the next day, so that seemed like it was four days. So at the end of the sixth day and on into the seventh day, that seemed like it was five days. And the sixth day seemed like it was a week and a half. I have it all written down. I can show it to you tomorrow if you want to see it. Anyway, I decided that tomorrow, when the timing's right, I'm going to ask you to marry me. If that's okay with you, just don't say anything. You've made me very happy. Scene! <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. That's Jack Does a Monologue. Uh, that was from The Jerk. It was uh, suggested to me by one David Svengali. So thank you very much, David Svengali. That was a lot of fun. Um, honestly, uh, that was uh, kind of a tongue twister. Uh, it's also the second monologue I've done by Steve Martin, which is kind of funny because the more monologues I work on, the more I'm kind of like, oh, wait a second, I must identify with this person's work. And if I identify with this person's work, then that must mean um, that's somebody that I could get cast in a role that's similar to that. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, that was written by Steve Martin, uh, Carl Gottlieb, who I had the pleasure of meeting a few times, and uh, Michael Elias, who I don't know who that is. <clears throat> anyway, this has been Jack Does a Monologue. I want to thank you guys for um, for coming and hanging out. Uh, I've been doing this every night at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, if you guys have a suggestion of a monologue you think I should do or a song that you think I should do, uh, let me know and leave it in the comments and I'll work on it. I've got one more monologue in the queue, and then I got to start working on new ones. So uh, once again, guys, thank you very much for swinging by. This was episode 25, and uh, I've been doing this every night except for one night <clears throat> for the past almost month, uh, and let me tell you, uh, it's been a great experience. So uh, uh, I'm going to keep them coming at least through the end of this month. Uh, all right, guys, thank you very much. Have a great night.